In order to run an electrophoresis gel, you're first going to need to learn how to pour a gel. Today, I'm going to show you three different methods of gel pouring so that you can find the one that works best for your lab or classroom. Our methods will use all-in-one agros tabs that contain TBE buffer and DNA stain, like our sea green or gel green tabs, plain agros tabs, or agros powder. In each example, we're going to be making one 2% agarose gel, but these instructions can be adapted for any gel percentages. Before pouring your gel, you want to set up your gel casting platform. Place the clear gel tray into the white casting platform. Place the comb in the notches of the platform at the end of the gel tray. For newer users, we recommend placing the larger nine well side of the comb facing down. If you need more wells in your gel, you can add a second comb to the second set of notches. Next, you'll want to assure that you have the appropriate quantity of 1x TBE to both cast and run your gel. TBE is usually provided as a liquid concentrate or a powder. If using liquid TBE concentrate, follow the instructions to dilute it with an appropriate volume of distilled water to make 1x TBE. If using TBE powder from Mini PCR Bio, add the powder contents of one 5.1 gram container to 600 milliliters of distilled water. Mix well. Gently heating the solution can help to speed up dilution of the TBE. Note that it can take up to 15 minutes for TBE powder to dissolve, so plan ahead accordingly. 1x TBE buffer can be stored at room temperature for three months when stored in a closed container. Now that the casting platform is set up and we have a sufficient supply of 1x TBE, we can make our gel. All-in-one agarose tabs, like sea green and gel green agarose tabs, are the simplest and fastest way to pour gels. Each tab includes the agarose, buffer, and DNA stain needed for one 2% agarose gel, but these instructions can be adapted for any gel percentages. A link to detailed instructions can be found in the description below. Sea green tabs contain sea green stain, while gel green tabs contain gel green stain. Both detect DNA safely and clearly in any electrophoresis system with a blue light illuminator. All you need to do is add water, wait for the tab to break up, melt, and pour. To cast a 2% gel, add one all-in-one tab to 20 milliliters of room temperature distilled water in a container with at least 100 milliliters capacity. You can adjust these volumes to cast any desired gel percentage or to prepare multiple gels at once. Let the tab soak until it breaks up and then swirl until it is fully disintegrated. Heat in a microwave for 60 seconds or until it boils and the solution is transparent. Keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't boil over. Swirl using a hot mitt to make sure the solution is well mixed. Make sure that the solution is clear with no remaining agarose crystals. Because the stain has already been added, it will have a yellow or orange tint. You can also use a hot plate if a microwave is unavailable. Just make sure that the all-in-one tab is disintegrated before heating. Pour the gel into assembled gel casting trays. Make sure you've inserted the combs to create wells. The gel will set in about 10 minutes. Once cooled, it should feel firm like jello. Another convenient option that saves you from weighing agarose are plain agarose tabs. Each agarose tab is 0.5 grams of pre-weighed agarose, eliminating the time, mess, and mistakes that can come with weighing agarose powder. To cast a 2% gel, add one tab to 25 milliliters of 1x TBE buffer in a container with at least 100 milliliters capacity. You can adjust these volumes to cast any desired gel percentage or to prepare multiple gels at once. Let the tab soak until it breaks up and then swirl until it is fully disintegrated. Heat in a microwave for 60 seconds or until it boils and the solution is transparent. Keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't boil over. Swirl using a hot mitt to make sure that the solution is well mixed. Make sure that the solution is clear with no remaining agarose crystals. If needed, microwave again for five to 10 seconds. You can also use a hot plate if a microwave is not available. Just make sure that the agarose tab is fully broken up before heating. Once your agarose solution is dissolved, add one microliter of a DNA stain like gel green or sea green for every 10 milliliters of gel. Here, because we made a 25 milliliter gel, we will add 2.5 microliters of gel green DNA stain and swirl until completely mixed. Pour the gel into assembled gel casting trays. Make sure you've inserted the combs to create wells. The gel will set in about 10 minutes. Once cooled, it should feel firm like jello. Using agarose powder is the traditional way to pour gels. 
For a 2% gel, we'll use 0.2 grams of agarose for every 10 milliliters of buffer. Because we want to make a single 20 milliliter gel, we will measure out 0.4 grams of agarose powder. You can adjust these volumes to cast any desired gel percentage or to prepare multiple gels at once. Combine the agarose with 20 milliliters of 1x TBE buffer in a container with at least 100 milliliters capacity. Heat in a microwave for 60 seconds or until it boils and the solution is clear. Keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't boil over. Swirl using a hot mitt to make sure that the solution is well mixed. Make sure that the solution is clear with no remaining agarose crystals. If needed, microwave again for five to 10 seconds. You can also use a hot plate if a microwave is not available. Once your agarose solution is dissolved, add one microliter of a DNA stain like sea green or gel green for every 10 milliliters of gel. Here, because we made a 20 milliliter gel, we will add two microliters of DNA stain and swirl until completely mixed. Pour the gel into assembled gel casting trays. Make sure you've inserted the combs to create wells. The gel will set in about 10 minutes and once cooled, it should feel firm like jello. And that's it. Now you're ready to remove the combs and load your gel into your electrophoresis box. You will need an additional 30 milliliters of 1x TBE running buffer for each gel that you want to run. If you want to store your gels to run at a later time, you can prepare gels up to three days in advance. Wrap your prepared gels in plastic wrap or place them in a sealed plastic bag and store them at room temperature, protected from the light. Gels should not be stored submerged in buffer. To learn more about all-in-one agarose tabs and other gel electrophoresis supplies, you can visit minipcr.com.